solve the following systems of equations. In exercise A, we are asked to solve y equals negative 2x minus 15 and y equals 2x squared minus 12x minus 7. So we have the system of equations. To solve it, I'm going to use a substitution. I'm going to take the 2x squared minus 12x minus 7 and use it to replace y in the first equation. So I have 2x squared minus 12x minus 7 is negative 2x minus 15. Now I'm going to take this quadratic equation and put it in a standard form by adding 2x to both sides and adding 15 to both sides. So this yields 2x squared minus 10x plus 8 equals 0. Now, I can solve this, I can try to use factoring, I can use the, completing the square, I can use the quadratic formula, whatever works best for you at this point. I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So that x would equal the opposite of negative 10 plus or minus the square root of negative 10 squared minus 4 by 2 by 8 over 2 times 2. So x would equal 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 minus 64 over 4. So that's 10 plus or minus the square root of 36 over 4. So that's 10 plus or minus 6 over 4. Now simplifying that, 10 minus 6 is 4, so 4 over 4 is 1. 10 plus 6 is 16, 16 over 4 is 4. So x equals 1 and x equals 4. But wait a moment, these were systems of equations. So solutions are written as ordered pairs. We have the x values, we need the y values. So if x equals 1, then y would equal negative 2 times 1 minus 15 using the first equation. And so y would equal negative 17. If x equals 4, y would equal negative 2 times 4 minus 15. So that's negative 8 minus 15, which is negative 23. So then the solutions of this system are 1, negative 17, and 4, negative 23. Let's look at the second system. y equals 0.5x squared minus 3x plus 6.5 and y equals negative 2x squared plus 10x minus uh, plus 4. Again, I'm going to use the substitution. So I would have negative 2x squared plus 10x plus 4 equals 0.5x squared minus 3x plus 6.5. Let's bring everything to one side of the equation. Um, subtracting the 0.5x gives me a negative 2.5x squared. Adding 3x gives me a plus 13x. Subtracting 6.5 gives me a negative 2.5 equals 0. Applying the quadratic formula, x would equal negative 13 plus or minus the square root of 13 squared minus 4 by negative 2.5 by negative 2.5. That's all over 2 times negative 2.5. So x is equal to negative 13 plus or minus 169 minus 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 4 times 2.5 is 10, 10 times 2.5 is 25 over 2 times negative 2.5 is negative 5 so x equals negative 13 plus or minus the square root of 144 over negative 5 
So x would equal negative 13 plus or minus 12 over negative 5. All right, negative 13 minus 12 is negative 25 over negative 5 is positive 5. Negative 13 plus 12 is negative 1. Negative 1 over negative 5 is 0.2. Substituting to find the y values. If x equals 5, y would equal 0.5 by 5 squared minus 3 by 5 plus 6.5. Using a calculator, you would find that that gives you that y equals 4. If x equals 0.2, y would equal 0.5 by 0.2 squared minus 3 by 0.2 plus 6.5 and again, using a calculator, you would find that that comes to 5.92. So then the solutions of the system are 5, 4, and 0 0.2, 5.92.